CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. How's this, George? What do you make of the site? Uh, it looks a little bit like an Indian wicket. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, uh, I need to return a little bit. Hopefully nothing like the, uh, the wacker wicket come, come Friday. Your thoughts on the drop-in wickets? You experienced the first one in Adelaide, and as Tuck said, you know, Melbourne's been used to it. What are your thoughts overall on the drop-in wickets? Oh, my very limited curator knowledge. Um, you know, the Adelaide one played played fine. I certainly think the the MCG ones have got better and better as the years have gone on. Um, I think, as everyone said, I think it's great when grounds have, have got their unique characteristics and that and then they they retain that. But I imagine if um, the the wickets are being grown on site or very close to and using the same clay that you get a, a wicket that would be remarkably similar. But the whacker wicket is talked about, I suppose being talked about amongst you blokes since uh, the Adelaide Test match finished because of what it delivers. Yeah I think historically it, it has been a, a pretty good fast bouncy wicket um, and I'm, you know, I'm sure that this one would be no different. You're hoping for a faster, bouncier wicket given what you've served up to the English so far? George? Oh, I don't think we're hoping for for anything in particular, um, certainly from a team perspective, um, as much as we enjoyed winning that test yesterday uh, and, and celebrating that and, and going 2-0 two, two up, it was, um, it, it's very much been drilled into us that it's, it's a matter of we've won two tests in, in 12 months and uh, whilst the cricket we're playing at the moment is, is really pleasing, um, both I think internally and, and I think the fans are really loving the way we're playing, uh, it's about being able to replicate that no matter the conditions and no matter the ground. So rather than focusing on where this game's been played, um, it's, it's more about how well we play. As George, a group. wouldn't Mitchell Johnson, he would be more dangerous here at the Wacker though, wouldn't he? Uh, if, the, if the wicket plays as it has in the past, you would you'd think that the faster bowlers are, are going to be pretty excited. Um, so yeah, Mitchie, I reckon he'd be licking his lips along with our boys, as, as I'm sure the English bowlers are as well. What do you George. do with Nathan Lyon heading into this test? Do you, is it pla a place for a spinner on a, a, pa a fast, bouncy wicket or would you look at playing a full paceman? I think given the results of our last two tests, it'll be, it'll be hard to, um, to leave Nath out. I think as a bowling group, we've, um, we've done really well. You know, the, to win test matches, you have to take 20 wickets. And so for our bowling group to have done that um, as well as they have on, on two very different wickets, and I, I think they're just gelling well as a group. So um, you know, I, I would imagine it'd be a really hard decision to change that. George, uh, two years ago, you made a shield 100 at the Wacker when Mitch Johnson took a five, but what's it like facing him at the Wacker? Uh, I'd be lying if I said it was much fun. That's for sure, but it's a it's a challenge. Um, or, you know, I guess as a cricketer, you, you do love coming to any of the well to all the grounds around Australia when they have their, their different characteristics. As I said, so when you, you when you come to the wacky, you know you're going to get fast bouncy wickets, uh, and you know you've got to deal with that as a batter. But I think it's a, a great place to bat. Um, you know, I'm sure the fast bowlers get excited when they come here, and and the batters do as well. It's a little bit like the Gabba. I think there's there's something there for everyone. Um, if you can invest a little bit of time as a batsman, then the, then there's plenty of runs to be had. Do you feel like psychologically you've got your foot on their throat at the moment after the two test victories in Brisbane and Adelaide? Uh, oh, I, th I certainly think we'd be, uh, you know, I think we're, we're confident. Um, I don't know where our foot is exactly, but in terms of going forward, as I said, it's it'd be, uh, I think it'd be a bit naive of us to, to suddenly think that we had any sort of um, advantage over them as opposed to just exactly where the series is. I, I think we've played really good cricket. Um, I think we've had even contributions from so many players and that's been really important. Um, but what we'd love to see and I know what the coach and captain want to see is us drilling that in game after game after game. How important has the toss been? It seems to have been quite an important factor in the first two test matches. I mean, what do you think the toss here? Uh, no, I don't think it makes too much difference. You know, I, I certainly think um, I think that Adelaide wicket was a good batting wicket right the way through. Um, I think uh, I think England probably had the momentum early on in that in that Brisbane test. So, um, in terms of the toss, we've won two tosses and won two tests, but I'm not sure it's had any major Im impact in the outcome. What you, about personally for you to get that half century in Adelaide? How much does that relieve the pressure on you, and does that change your mindset at all going to Perth? No, it doesn't change your mindset. A bit frustrating, really. I think it was a, a beautiful batting wicket, and uh, Michael and I had sort of wrestled the momentum back. So for for me to get out late in the day, um, it sort of left the test in the left the, the innings in a bit of a precarious position. Obviously, Hads and and Pup had a wonderful uh, partnership to get us get us flying into day two. But um, certainly, for me, I guess my scores are going up. So hopefully that uh, that continues. How are you finding Test cricket so far? Uh, very enjoyable thus far. Uh, it's a real, I mean, a huge challenge, and um, you know I've loved 
you know, the crowds and the whole build-up of an Ashes series has been pretty phenomenal. So to be a part of that, um, you know, I think as any as any player would say, just being around the Australian group is pretty special. And certainly the way we're going about things at the moment, it makes it it makes it even more special. So uh, every day is a a great day, and you just want to keep having them. George, most of your um, runs so far in the series have come against the spinners. How much of a conscious plan has that been to sort of get after them a bit and perhaps be a bit more watchful against the quicks? Uh, no, no plan at all. It's um, yeah, I mean, I guess you can only score off what you what you happen to be facing. Um, but there's no there's no real plan. I mean, I certainly think at my age I'm going to get one crack at, at a Test career. So um, so one of the things I'm trying to be really conscious about is is doing it my way. Um, yeah. So if, when it when it does come to an end, that you don't uh, look back and, and feel like there are any regrets or you wish you'd played a, a different way. How's the team feeling? It's obviously a really quick turnaround between Test matches. Yeah, it is. I, I certainly think that's probably one of the bonuses of wrapping that game up an hour into yesterday. Uh, the, the bowlers, um, you know, basically get an extra day off, uh, which they'll appreciate. Um, so I think, in terms of in terms of that, you know, they'll they'll do whatever they need to do to get right um, coming here. But um, you know, I don't know how the the overs added up, but I, I reckon the team, both teams, bowled about the same amount of overs for that test. So um, so certainly the the boys would be. Um, you know, I think they're pretty excited to get here anyway and bowl, so they'll, they'll do everything that they need to do over the next couple of days to be right and ready to go. And what's the talk amongst the team at the moment? Obviously, they haven't been 2 nil up in a series against an opponent for a little while. Is it a different approach going in to try and wrap it up in the third? No, no, not at all. And, and that's the thing, I think, once we once we wrap up a test match and you know and go through and look at all the things and how we've played, it's, it's very much a matter of um, focusing on what's coming up. So, um, you know, we really enjoyed the, the win yesterday, um, but today, just becomes about preparing, preparing for Friday now. So it's a it's a pretty simple process, I guess, but it's um it's one that at the moment is working. Ready for the blistering heat? This is a cool day today. It's yeah, absolutely. Hot. I think we'll uh, we'll hopefully enjoy it more than the the pumps.